So before I run the recovery medium process, you could see why I was gonna need to do this. Right in front of your eyes. When I was last screwing around with on this PC. Windows Longhorn. And the power button doesn't work. And I ran into some, let's say, uh, what's the right word? I ran into some hiccups while trying to get this to work. Well, turns out that a hard drive was not plugged in. So I fixed that. So luckily, it still says strike F11 to start recovery, and it's not that hard to run recovery media on this system. And this is like the third time I've had to get a RAM on this unit. So let's strike a board, and then from here, we'll just have to hit F11 so that we can get into the system recovery. Like this you know, to start. May take a moment or two. I'm gonna rest my arm. I'm gonna try to. Okay, this is doing uh, yeah. Now it still can log into XP, but it's really, really hard as it didn't even show it when I turned it on. So we're gonna have to rapidly strike X11. Once it shows the message. Alright. Strike F11 now. Preparing system recovery options. And yes. <coughs> so, yes, we have two options. Full system restore. Destructive. As full well system restore with backup. Let me read these. The backup one, this option will remove will move all hard disk contents to the C colon slash my backup directory and install a new copy of Windows. This option prefer, preserves your existing data files, however, all applications and settings will need to be reinstalled. This option requires 4 gigabytes of free hard disk space with a new OS. We're not going to do that because, well, we're not doing that because that's probably going to, that is also going to back up the Windows Longhorn setup stuff on all the Windows Longhorn stuff, and I don't want that, because I want this PC to be usable. <laughs> We're going to instead go for the destructive system recovery. Warning! This option will format your hard disk and reinstall all factory shipped files. Use this if all other options fail to restore the machine to a satisfactory condition. All your personal data and files and applications will be lost. So let's go ahead and... It already has... Destructive selected. So we're gonna hit next. And uh, this is your last warning before it pretty much wipes and the hard drive clean and reinstalls Windows. All files, including data files and on the user partition, will be lost. All, and all the factory shipped files will be recovered to the user partition. Do we want to continue? We're gonna hit yes and we'll. And I'm gonna. And let's just see the entire time lapse. Restore by the system restore Windows XP. I just got freaked out by the disk drive opening for a second. Let's hit restart. It's not done though. Please wait. <laughs>
down is we are starting momentarily. Yeah, I hope it is. I hope that's what it's gonna do because I don't wanna have to unplug and plug back in this machine because that takes a bit of an issue. And it looks like it was glitching out again. Looks like the graphics card is having some skill issues. Please wait while it is the best start. And now it's giving us the out of box experience. Oh, what a great thing to do to pass the time on a snow day. Because I am recording this over midwinter break. And interesting enough, all of the audio for the out of box experience doesn't play. Welcome to Microsoft Windows. Thank you for purchasing this computer from Gateway featuring Microsoft Windows XP. Let's spend a few minutes setting up your computer. Later in this process, you can set up your computer to access the internet. You will be given a an opportunity to create a new internet account. Next, we are not in that time zone. We are in Eastern Time. Uh, yes, I accept. Yes, I accept. I rarely actually read the entire thing. I'm not gonna turn those on because they don't work anymore. What's your computer name? I just knocked the Trevor. Let's just I want a G. Might take a moment or two. Once again, this is like a 15 year old computer checking your internet con connectivity. All this. Let's just see if this will work. No, no. Next. No, not at this time. Thank you. Congratulations. You're ready to go. Blah, 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 blah. Finish. Now we'll play this. I'm not really going to explore any of the software that came on this thing, because these things tend to have, tend to usually tend to have a lot of low wear on them, and I don't feel like covering any of it today in a what is now over 40 minutes of 4K video footage.
So we're gonna shut this thing down and say it will let us. May sound a little crunchy. See, the sound on this thing isn't really the best. Now we're gonna shut down before it even. Turn off. Uh, yeah. I'll probably make a video on the extra content channel. Yeah, as you could hear it kind of sounded like a taser. But I don't have one. Windows is shutting down. And that's the recovery process for the Gateway 566GE. I'm pretty sure that the recovery media is already up on the internet archive, so you can go check it out. I will see you in the future. Bye.